Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Today, I'm honored to have David Deutsch, who's one of the legends of copywriting and direct response marketing. A little bit about David. He's written and sold hundreds of millions of dollars worth of his clients' products, which include everything from books and seminars to Maxwell House Coffee and American Express cards. David works with some of the largest publishers of books and newsletters, such as Boardroom Inc., Healthy Directions, Agora, Soundview, and many more. David, thank you so much for joining me. Oh, my pleasure. It's great to be here. Since this is, you know, Inspired Insider, my question is about inspiration, obviously. And I want to know what you think about that motivates you when times get tough or you're just trying to break through, um, you're having like a writer's block. What do you think about? Well, in terms of writer's block, I don't really get writer's block. I just... <laughs> I mean, it's sort of a of a cliche, but um, I'll just start writing. I'll write a different section. There's a lot of ways to overcome that. I, I, you know, people a lot of times say, "What's a better way to do this? What's the best way to do a closing? Or what's the best way to do this? Or what's the best thing to do for this?" There is no best. There's, there's. You can take anything, and you can make it work. You can do it in this way and make it work, or do it in this way and get, make it work. This way is not better. It's it's you do this well or you do this well, and it works. So a lot of times you just write a sentence and you can make that work, and you can start from there, and then you can go back and change that sentence if it wasn't the best sentence to begin with, or you can just throw the whole thing out and start again. The important thing is just to to keep writing. That's why I don't really believe in writer's block. Yeah. And, you can always just a source with direct response. There's so much copy usually involved. There's always like an order form to write or some other, some other part to write. More the getting stuck is in kind of the how do I solve this problem? How do I make this work? How do I sell a book that's, you know, doesn't have a lot of stories in it and is kind of dry? Yeah. Um, how do I sell a weight loss product when there's so much stuff out there? Yeah. about weight loss, making these outrageous claims. And that's where, you know, you, you just realize that you're going to have to put in a certain amount of hours to, this is something I learned from Gary Halbert. It, it was in terms of mistakes. He said, you know, in order to be successful, you're going to have to make a hundred mistakes. So every time you make a mistake, just say, damn glad I made that. That's only 99 mistakes to go, you know? And the other thing is just start making the mistakes as quickly as possible. Yeah. And it's the same thing. I just start coming up with ideas, start coming up with solutions. And I know I have to come up with 90, you know, 99 until I get to 100. Because the first 99 are going to sound like every other weight loss thing right. out there. You know? And finally, at number 100, there's going to be something that's going to slip in under the radar. Yeah. I, th I, I think in general, I think people give up too easily. I think that's when you said something about working with writers and, and, and things like that. Um, I think people who are successful, if you look at people who are successful, Jerry Steinfeld isn't necessarily a better comedian than a hundred other comedians that started out at the same time he did, but the 95 of those other comedians dropped out before they became successful. He just kept going and kept going and then finally he was successful. Right. And it's the same thing with writing and coming up with headlines. You know, people come to me and they say, okay, here, I, this is my headline for this piece. Well, it's not very good. How many headlines did you write? No, I just wrote this one. I, you know, it's what I came up with. <laughs> well, go write a hundred and then, and so that's the way I think you get to answer your question. That's the way you keep going is you just, yeah. you just keep going. You just say, I'm going to write a hundred headlines. I'm going to keep going. And you, you have a vision of this project completed. And the results of this project and yeah. the client being happy and you getting big checks. Yeah. You said something interesting before we hit record, which is you look at the future. Yeah. And that's something Gary Benzavenga um, was really uh, instrumental in, in kind of teaching me this, even though it, it comes from a few, the secret and all those sorts of things about, you know, envision what you want. Um, 
Gary just made it very practical and had a very practical way of doing it. He would talk about envisioning the check coming from the client, envisioning the client, congratulating him on the success of the piece. But you need to do that because copywriting is a long haul, you know, and it's a lonely long haul. And if you're just focused on the immediacy of what you're doing, it can kind of get a little discouraging. If you're focused on down the road, yes, I'm going to come up with all these bad ideas and I'm going to go through frustrations, but I'm going to get to that good part where the client is very happy that their product is selling and they're sending me nice checks. That's a good feeling. Yeah. David, I want to be the first one to thank you. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thanks for joining me, the A-list copywriter. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you. It's been great to talk to you.